using FreeCodeCamp backend dev and APIs, and we are in the basic Node and Express course, and we are going to be on the challenge use body parser to parse post requests. Okay, so we can click that. Um, so besides git, there's another common HTTP verb, which is post. So post is a default method used to send client data with HTML forms. In a REST convention, post is used to send data to create new items in the database, a new user, a new blog post, whatever. You don't ha have a database in this project, but you're going to learn how to post, how to handle post requests anyways, okay? So in these kind of requests, the data doesn't appear in the URL. It is hidden in the request body. The body is part of, an H of the HTTP request, also called the payload. Even though the data is not visible in the URL, this does not mean it is private. To see why, look at the raw content of an HTTP POST request. So this is a POST request. We can see that in the body here, we have the info. As you can see, the body is encoded like a query string. This is the default format used by HTML forms. With AJAX, you can use JSON to handle data having a more complex structure. Uh, there is also another type of encoding, multi-part slash form data. This one is used to upload binary files. In this exercise, you will use a URL encoded body to parse data. To parse the data coming in from the post request, you must use body parser package. This package allows you to use a series of middleware, which can decode the data in different formats. So body parser has already been installed in your project's uh, JSON file. So if we look in our replet, if we go to package JSON, we do in fact see body parser, okay? So require it at the top of myapp.js and store it in a variable named body parser. All right, let's do that. So my mouse would stop dying on me. All right, there we go. We can go to myapp.js, go to the top here, and we can say let body parser equal require body dash, oh, dash parser. So now we have access to it via this variable, okay? The middleware to handle URL encoded data is returned by body parser dot URL encoded extended false, okay? Pass this function, pass the function returned by the previous method to app.use. As usual, the middleware will be mounted on before all routes that depend on it, okay? So all we have to do for that step is go to near here, and we can just go down, say app.use, body parser dot what was it body parser dot url encoded url encoded and that's a function and in that function we want to give an object and in this object it is ex extended false i think that's all we need to put extended false yep url encoded extended false URL encoded, yep. All right, cool. So that step's done. And then it says pass this, uh, th the function returned by the previous method to app.use. So if we know, we did put all this inside app.use, which passes app.use whatever this function returns. All right, so that's done. Okay. All right. So I think that's all we have to do for this challenge. Uh, if we stop our server and run it again, we can take our live link here, copy that, same link as before, paste it here, and run it. That was it. So all we had to do for this challenge was mount body parser and tell app the app, which is our express app, to use body parser URL encoded, like that. All right, so hope that helped. See you guys in the next challenge.